welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be confirming the changes that the Chase Sapphire Reserve card had. A few months ago, maybe even a couple of videos ago, actually, a couple of videos ago, I put out a video with speculation, but we didn't know what the changes were going to be or if there were going to be any changes. Today, I'm going to get into all that for you guys. Let's get right into it. <music> So if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to ask me, put the comments below, put the questions below. I'll answer each comment to the best of my ability. Um, people who have read about it, who know about it, feel free to answer it too. Help me out, help the community out with all the community, but let's get right into it. So Chase Sapphire Reserve, if you don't know, is one of the premium travel cards out on the spot. And a big competitor to that is the American Express Platinum card. Right now, the um, annual fee for Amex Platinum is 550 And that's what the Chase Sapphire Reserve card is doing. Uh, and it's going to depend based on when you got the card, if you have the card. So let's get right into it. So as of January 12th, you will, January 12th, 2020, you'll see a lot of different changes. One's going to be the annual fee. So if you decide to apply on January 13th, you're going to be getting charged $550 from the get-go, not with the first year. Um, if you already have the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, and let's say your renewal month is in March. Um, so like, let's say you're going to be charged in March of this year. You applied maybe March last year or a couple years ago. Your annual fee is still going to be 450 which is awesome. But anybody April 1st or after will be charged 550 So let's say you applied in uh, September of last year. You're going to be charged 550 because it's after April 1st, 2020. Okay, so that's the bummer. But hey, if you are before April and you already have the card, you're good for one more year of 450. 2021, here comes the 550, all right? So that's going to be the change. Now, let's get into what they're actually going to be changing for the extra $100 uh, annual fee hike. And let me know what you guys think, and I'll also give you guys my opinion as well. So the first thing I'm going to give to you is going to be something called Lift Pink. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. I don't do lifts that much as I'm not in the city, so I don't really necessarily need it to this extent. So Lift Pink typically costs $19.99 per month. Okay, so um, do the math 20 times 12, and you would get that math as how much it costs a year. And this gives you 15% off of all of your rides. You also get free like uh, <clears throat> scooters and bicycles, including city bike which is pretty awesome. You also get priority airport pickups and you get more flexibility when it comes to cancellations and all that good stuff. So it's really uh, cool. And then you're getting 15% off of your rides, which are also paying this service. So it's 20 bucks a month to have this. You're also getting free bicycles, including city bike, which is pretty cool, especially for places like New York, those big places like that. You get free city bike um, every month or something like that. So that's pretty cool. You're also going to be getting, and again, that is free for just one year. So let me just make sure we reiterate that. That is only for one year. After the first year of that, it's it's over, okay? Now let's go over with the DoorDash. So with American Express, uh, they have Uber and Uber Eats. DoorDash and Lyft is what Chase is going after. So pretty much they're kind of Hey, you do DoorDash, I'll do Uber. You'll do this, I'll you do Grubhub, I'll do DoorDash. So Chase is going to give you $120 in DoorDash credits. Now this differs between Amex because Amex they like to break it down every month and give you 15 a month. Chase does not care. You're going to get $120 in credits, but here's the crazy part. 2020, you'll get 60. 2021, you'll get 60 but you can use it however you want to. So if you wanna go ahead and blow it all, which is not really hard to blow 60 bucks on DoorDash when you got delivery fees and you might have a party. So that's probably like a good one or two meals, maybe one and a half, honestly. Um, you can use 60 this year and then you'll be able to use 60 January 1st, 2021. But after that two years, it's over. So, and there's no, um, no, we don't know anything else about it. There's going to be another contract. I'm not sure if maybe they're kind of just maybe doing it like this to maybe see how this is going to work out before they continue to do this. But um, that was a little strange too. Um, so those are the differences. So you are now, and you're also going to be getting 10 ultimate reward points uh, per dollar when you're um, traveling um, with Lyft. So that's pretty good. So it's going to be um, 10x ultimate reward points per dollar, which is pretty good. But these are the changes that are going to happen. Now, when let's just let me give you my opinion. 
Um, and then, guys, if you got any questions, make sure you comment them. So, I think honestly, and I'm going to be, I like to always be very straightforward. And if a company does something wrong or does something good, I'll give them the credit. This was bad. Um, not bad, like, uh, you know, just like unethical, but just bad as in like, this took a reverse step. Like it, it went backwards. I don't think that the Shea Sapphire Reserve card just got better. Um, especially for the people who don't necessarily live in city cities. Like, you know, I know Chase is, you know, in them big cities like New York and you know, then they got it in Philly and things like that. But not everybody uses um, Lyft that much to want to have Lyft Pink to get 15% of all rides. I mean, that's cool. And then, you know, you're only giving us $60. Again, I don't have the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card. So you're giving your Chase clientele $60 um, for the next two years, but there's no guarantee if it's going to be after that. So not only after that happens, you're kind of just stuck with like, you know, what's going to happen next. Um, I don't, I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, I would have expected a little bit more, maybe, you know, especially with the American Express Platinum card. I tell you, man, this really confirms like I am team Amex Platinum over the Chase FI Reserve card. And if you guys watch my channel, you know this. And this is because there are just some things that no other card gives to you. And though Chase is in the same running and there are things better. So for example, what's better on the Sapphire Reserve card? So I don't just sound, you know, um, very biased is the trip delay is a lot better. You know, Amex Platinum, it's only round trip itineraries. Um, you know, Chase Sapphire Reserve card doesn't have, matter. It can be one way round trip. That's good. But this was just a, a backwards step. I was expecting maybe some hotel status, maybe like Hyatt's, you know, maybe like, you know, Chase, ha if, uh, Amex has Marriott status and Hilton. I was thinking maybe Chase go after Hyatt or, you know, IH, IHG, something to kind of really come more so travel wise, but to really just throw in a food credit of 60 bucks and uh, lift Pink. I mean, that, to me, that doesn't justify. Um, if I'm in that situation, if I'm not in the city, and a lot of people don't live in cities, and if you do, some people who do live in cities have cars, and it just really doesn't justify an extra $100 spike. So I'm really hoping that, uh, and I'm gonna give Chase, you know, the opportunity to really redeem themselves or to maybe let it kind of go, because it really hasn't taken its course yet. I wanna see more from this for an extra 100 bucks. I was actually thinking about getting the Sapphire Reserve card for two reasons. The travel protection, obviously. Um, the ultimate reward points are awesome. But, uh, you know, I was thinking about getting this card, but with this 550 increase, I like to get that value. I don't see it. Um, there's pros and cons to each card, but Amex Platinum is still the winner in my book, man. And this is really, you know, I thought Chase was going to do something to kind of do like a, a knockout punch to Amex and maybe really try to, you know, stand even. And it really just put a step back, in my opinion. I've been reading reviews on like different blog sites and a lot of people feel the same way. Let me know how you feel. I know I'm kind of just rambling right now, but I wanted to kind of give you some of my thought process when I saw this, because as soon as I find out about it today, I was like, I can't wait to give it to you guys. I can't wait to tell you guys. Let's see what it is. We know we've been talking about it. And then we get this and it's just like all that anticipation and that's that's it. Um, the only thing I can say that's really awesome and I would give a pro, this is the pro and I would tip my hat off to Chase. When Amex gave us trip delay, they took away roadside assistance. Um, Chase didn't take away anything from you guys, so you still have your priority pass. You still have your three hundred dollars you can use for any type of travel, however you want to, which is awesome. I just don't think this extra five fifty justifies the things that they're giving to you guys, especially because a lot of these things are gone within a year or two. So you know you're looking three or four years on the line. What is going to be the reason to keep this car for an extra hundred a month? I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Got any questions? Let me know. Um, tell me how you feel. I know I have a lot of people that give me like really awesome, you know, thought processes and how they feel about it. And we have people who are Team Chase, Team Amex, Team City, whatever you are, we're all in this community together. I respect and I love everybody's opinion. So let me know what you think. With this, I'm sticking over to Team Amex Platinum all the way. Uh, Gold status Hilton, Marriott, that eh, doesn't really matter. Centurion lounges when priority passes over book, uh, just oversold. Um, just, just so many different things. Uh, the concierge is amazing. I'm actually using concierge right now for some type of surprise that I'm doing. So, uh, Amex all the way. 
the Amex offers always come clutch for me. They really kind of really help me. They really know where I'm shopping, obviously. So Amex offers, the transfer portal, you know, transferring the membership award points out, they're really valuable. I'm team Amex with it. I'll gladly pay the 550 uh, annual fee with them. They're, they're a little bit more strict with how they do things, but hey, it is what it is. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And if I get any more information about this, I'll let you know. I'm happy I was able to talk about it. I'll see you in another video. Take care. And also, you see this shirt. So if you're looking to go ahead and support the channel, it says Got Credit. It has the Credit Card Maestro logo on it. Make sure you click down below. It's Teespring website. Go ahead and click it. Support the channel. I'll feature you in the video. I'll definitely give you a personalized thank you. We have hoodies and we have T-shirts. Make sure you go cop one. Take care.